And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's beautiful. And let's talk about what's going on in the land of cryptocurrency. Touching on a few uh, subjects here, starting off with the Hinman files, which were released where uh, Hinman, one of the SEC guys basically said, Ethereum is not a security. Why? Because it's decentralized. That's putting in real, real layman's terms, and it had nothing to do with XRP. So uh, really quick, I'm going to check in on XRP. We're going to talk about the PP Lies report, which just came out. Looks like inflation is going down. Core PPI year over year, month over month, all missed expectations to the downside, which is extremely bearish for the dollar. And the dollar heading down to one of our lower term targets. We did say this is the green box of peace and prosperity or death and despair for Dixie. So we'll follow up on that. And we'll take a look at uh, maybe Tesla and gold. Uh, wanted to bring up really quick um, the Fed rate hike tool, which is now timed out on me. We got open interest coming in at 8.1 billion and uh, the Kobisi letter Pretty uh, sharp tack back about real inflation. They say is now at 4% for the first time in two years, according to the CPI data. But basic necessities are still seeing much higher rates of inflation in the U.S. Shelter inflation stands out at 8%. Food inflation, 6.7%. And new vehicles inflation, 4.7%. So rent inflation for people renting their primary residence as at an alarming rate, 8.7%. So basic necessities are still unaffordable for many. Um, yeah, so that's kind of a caveat that to there. And after the PPI report came out uh, with a miss to the downside, I think they are going to be pricing in 92% chance of a pause. But will Powell do the good old clickbait, uh, which is, talk dirty to us and say, hey, look, we're going to hike rates, uh, you know, two more times but before the end of the year. Uh, we're going to hold them there higher for longer or, you know, what else can he say that lets us know that he's not done raising rates despite inflation coming down? Now, if he does uh, kind of fluff the market and pat himself on the back and say, hey, it looks like we did a good job. Inflation is coming down. Uh, GDP is coming down. Uh, the dot plot says that uh, we're only going to get one more rate hike this year, which I think is the kind of the expectation now uh, could could provide for a bit of a bounce uh, uh, for traditional markets or a continued bounce for traditional markets. And maybe Bitcoin picks itself up by its bootstraps and puts in a little rally here. But uh, generally speaking, on the weekly time frame, I did want to take a look at Dixie here. I guess I'll take off some of my lines here, but essentially what you're seeing here is a drive of, let's see, how many drives? One, two. Two gets you a shot to the bottom side of the range, maybe even as deep as this area uh, coming in at 101.87. How would we confirm this as a local high this week in two days? And 10 hours, so call it three days. Any kind of a weekly closure below 103.28 will confirm this and get provide the impetus for a little bit more downside. 101.93 is the bottom side of the range to flip momentum back to the downside. Uh, daily, again, I'm going to stick with that as long as we can put in a higher low here. Uh, that would be good to flip things back to the upside. Now, momentum will cross back to the upside above 104.10. Uh, 104.10. So Bitcoin has not really seen any of the benefit of the stock market rallying or Dixie going down, showing a sign of weakness. Does it have to do with the CZ Binance? Supposedly Binance is dumping a bunch of Bitcoin to save their BNB token. Uh, frankly, I don't know how it's held up as well as it has. Oh yeah, there's XRP down two and a half percent. Hinman files were a nothing burger for Mr. XRP and uh, several drives of hidden bearish divergence will be confirmed. You know, closing below this box is really going to put the nail uh, in the coffin for XRP. If you ask me, uh, bottom side, yeah, somewhere around uh, 48 to 47 cents if you're more conservative. 
be waiting for that closure below there and a nice leg down probably back back uh, minimum to the bottom side of the range here and that is it for the moment on XRP momentum is crossing back to the downside and we'll flip back up here today above 55 cents so can we do it today? Uh, looks like a rejection so far, but with the way Dixie is pulling back and Bitcoin, uh, I will jump into the TA portion of this analysis now uh, for Bitcoin. And I did want to bring this up uh, right now. You can get lifetime access to our crypto course uh, linked to uh, growing your crypto wealth, learning how to trade for free uh, right now. We're gonna have four price increases. The first price increase is coming in just two days on the 16th. So before we increase the prices, uh, we and we have this other massive lecture drop, make sure you guys sign up for free. Uh, you can always email us questions at info at bitcoinadvisors.com. Um, I highly recommend you start your journey sooner than later. Uh, what else did I want to bring up here? Okay, so we we're talking about Bitcoin. No, XRP. We were talking about Bitcoin on the daily time frame. I'm going to get rid of some of my trend lines here and clean up the chart just a little bit. And uh, here's what I want to bring up right now. And actually, starting off back here, um, you know, just if you've been on the channel for some time, we did call this one out saying, hey, look, any kind of a daily closure below this level very likely gets us that move down to about 25,000. And you can see it has taken some time. You've had to have some dreadful patience, um, dreadful patience to, you know, hang in there and be patient. So um, hopefully we're going to get rewarded here. Uh, sooner than later, because the bears do have their opportunity to take control here over the next couple of days. Um, just looking at two day volatility also looks flippy floppy, meaning like just kind of going up and down. Do we have anything on the three day? We've been talking about the three day momentum is crossed to the downside as long as we're below 26.7. So Still going to contain with that being a major pivot on the market or 26.8. Um, volatility is on the floor now for the three day. The four day is just got a closure, a bit of a bearish closure there. And momentum is still to the downside below 26.8. Um, so you can see, um, you know, Based on the higher term time frame, something is about to happen. We've had momentum down for a, you know quite some time here, and the big question is, you know, is Bitcoin to pick, pick itself up by its bootstraps and put in a rally while well, this dollar's going down? And now's its chance to do it. If it can't do it in the face of a stock market party rally up to the heavens here and um, up to the heavens, yeah, this is kind of our. Shorter term, <laughs> shorter term. I don't know if I want to say short term, at least upside target for NASDAQ at 1549. Well, I'm uh, jumping on some stocks. I'm going to check out NVIDIA really quick. NVIDIA has really uh, proved itself strong here, getting a little parabolic blow off top here, rallying up a little bit more, a little bit more. And this thing is going to run out of gas here at some point and have a nice little gap fill. I would say uh, sooner than later, Microsoft, uh, Amazon, all all putting in some pretty nice rallies. Amazon not quite there yet compared to Tesla. Tesla gapping up again today. So looks like NVIDIA. And we did say four hour closure above the top side, which we got that yesterday. Uh, four hour closure above this line gives us a target at 262. Uh, looking for that to probably get hit and this gap to get filled. Um, so, yeah, momentum to the upside still for Mr. Tesla. Good job, Elon. Uh, making up for that Twitter purchase. How's Matic faring? Matic looks droopy here and can't catch a break to the upside or the downside. 
to be fair, still looking like a bounce. There's land token. I think I'm going to wrap it up with that. Um, any other comments for the day? We went over pretty much everything. Uh, the Fed Watch tool, the Kobisi letter, uh, open interest is at, let's check out the fear and greed index. I'd imagine people are starting to get more greedy and the funding rates. Just curious really quick here. Still neutral in the fear and greed index and Bitcoin funding rates are still positive. So you are paying to go long at the moment. So that's it for Mr. Ethereum. I did want to make a slight adjustment uh, to this for a more conservative breakdown. Level is going to be that uh, $1,700 market. And we did say $1,750 if you wanted to front run it. Um, well, that would be the case right there. Okay. ETH Bitcoin chart also bleeding it out temporarily and i am going to check in on pepe last last but not least mr pepe here momentum to the downside on the 15 minute time frame are we finally going to get a little breakdown after a pretty nice bounce from the lows i would say yeah any you know if it fails to break back above 93.581, then uh, pressure is going to be onto the downside and momentum will cross back down. That's on the hourly time frame. 15 minutes says, uh, you know, a little bit more to the downside to go. Uh, but we do have a nice higher low structure coming in here all the way back from, it looks like this. Can we get it that far back? Yes, we can. So a break to the upside of the downside of this, this little triangle, um, probably going to get a fairly decent move. Fairly decent move. And you can see a slew of lower lows in price, higher low, sorry, higher lows in price, lower lows in RSI. So that is hidden bullish divergence. Um, on that side of things, coming back from this little low right here. So higher lows and then lower low, lower lows. But on the other side is they're going to be bearish divergence. Only one drive uh, coming back from this pivot right here. So temporarily has some upside if we can just continue holding this trend line. Other than that, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. We covered a lot today. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you smash the like button, pass it to a friend. And we'll be back tomorrow with some more crypto updates. Take care.